Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, it's a continuation of a video series. In the last video, we were uh, installing WordPress onto our LIMP server. LIMP being an acronym for L-E-M-P. That's L as in Linux, E as in Nginx, M as in MySQL database or Maria database and then P as in using PHP scripting to connect with the between the database and um, the Nginx, Nginx server. So moving right along, what we need to do a few things before we go ahead and bring WordPress online. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, I got some notes that I'm going to be working from so you can just follow along. Okay, so in our last video, we went ahead and named our um, our website mywebsite.com, right? So all I did was is I changed it from this one to this one with and I made everything in small caps, okay? And so Let's go ahead and go to that website. That's going to be in the dub 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 uh, folder. So, right now, let's see. We are in my home folder. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change over to the var folder, and then dub 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 w. Press enter. Do a ls the list, and there's my website right there. And it doesn't make a difference, but the only reason why I changed it is is so that it would make it more uniform. Like <clears throat> like if you like when you go try and go to that website, you won't have to use any uh any of the caps, any large letters. So that's all it did with that. Hope that's understandable. The next thing I did was I checked the permissions for the uh for this website. And the way you do that in Linux is you're going to do ls space minus ll space and then the website name which is mywebsite.com and then you press enter. And so as you can see the ownership and the permissions of uh, everything in mywebsite.com belongs to www-data. And that's the username and that's the group name of, of, the, um, of the user or that the user is a part of. All right. And to change that, let's clear the screen down at the bottom here. And to clear the screen, you can either type in clear or on your keyboard you can press the control button and the letter L as in light. Okay, and so now let's go ahead and uh, show you how to change the permissions. All right, and so the way you the way you change the permissions is you need sudo rights, and that's for um, for root rights. You just do a sudo space. And then you're going to put in the command change on space minus large R for it to be recursive and go throughout the whole uh, folder. And then you're going to just put in the, um, the, the, um, the name of the owner that you want for this, for this folder. And that's just going to be www-data like that. And then you want to use the colon. And then you can, if it's going to be the same thing, which it should be, it's you're just going to put it in again. Dub 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 dash data space, and then the the folder or the website or the file you want to change or make that the um, the owner of. And for us, it's just going to be mywebsite.com. Okay, and then from there you just go ahead and press enter. And that'll make all of these, all of the, all of the folders under that, uh, with the permission, and ran and owned by www data, and that'll be it. 
So the reason why you want to do that is because let's go ahead and go back over it again. This is the web this is the username of your of your um, of your web server. As as we well know, the web server that's installed on this machine is Nginx. Nginx needs to have rights so that it can go ahead and serve all of these files when when your clients or users go on there and try and uh, access your website. They're going to need the rights of your web server, which is www-data. Okay, and then that's it. You just run that command to change the permissions to give www-data permission over the over this um, over your website, which in our case is mywebsite.com. Okay. So that takes care of the first the first two uh, things in our list. We went over the, the name change. We went over permissions. Now what we need to do is check the firewall so that the web server can go ahead and serve this information to uh, your your users or your clients. So. The operating system that we have on this is uh, Ubuntu Server. All right, and you can see that when you go under Etsy and then release. And that's this is it. This is Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS. All right. And there is a firewall that comes with that web server or with this server. And the firewall's name is UFW. That stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. And to check the settings on your UFW firewall, you have to, you have to be sudo rights or you need sudo rights to check the firewall at any time. So we're just going to do a sudo space UFW space and then we can do a status press enter and then you're gonna go ahead and put in your password okay and as you can see we don't have anything currently for this web server now what you're gonna to want to do is this web server like most is gonna need port 80 open okay so what we want to do is we want to set our firewall to open up port 80. We can do that one of several ways. Let's go back and refer to our notes. Now the first thing you could do is you can actually go ahead and open up port 80 itself. And here's the command to do that. It's just sudo space UFW space and then you type in 80 slash tcp uh, that'll open up tc uh, port 80 on tcp press enter oops all right guess it did the command wrong let's try it again it's sudo ufw allow port 80. let's see if that works all right it says the rule was added and then now we want to check it. So we just go under here and do again sudo space UFW space status. And as we can see, port 80 is open now. Okay. Now that's the first way of doing it. What we can also do, we're going to clear the screen there. What we can also do is we can go ahead and we can go ahead and open up uh, port 80 for Nginx using um, the Nginx, uh, just the regular in Nginx name. And to find that, what you'll do is you'll type in sudo space UFW space, and I believe the command is app list. Let me see, I'm gonna refer to my notes. Yes, yeah, so it's app, then it's list, and then let's press enter. Okay, 
And so you have several to choose from here. You have Nginx Full, which will install um, uh, permissions so that you can have port 80. And if you need, once you get a, a, a certificate, you can, you can have port 80 and port 443 open. Or if you just want port 80 open, you can do Nginx HP. Or if you want 443 open, you can do Nginx HTTPS. And of course, this is open uh, SSH. That's for when you want port eight, uh, port 22 open. But to um, and do to go ahead and install one of these services, it's a simple command here. You just go ahead and type in sudo space ufw space allow space and then you want to put it in quotes engine x space let's just go ahead and do full and then you just press enter all right and then to check it to make sure you see right there on the screen it says rule added but let's just check it anyway and it's just sudo ufw status Okay, so you, as you can see, we have both port 80 and we have Nginx full. Okay, you can do both or you can do one or the other. All right, doesn't matter, but one of them does need to be in there so that the port 80 will be open. And then after you run those commands, what you want to do is you want to reload the firewall let me go ahead and clear the screen, go back to the top, and to re reload the firewall, you just type in the command sudo space ufw space reload. And then you press enter. Okay, and to be on the safe side, you will also want to reload or restart um, your web server, Nginx. Now, there are several ways of doing that. You can do a sudo, and you can use the service command, space, and then nginx. And then you can do either reload, I think it's reload, and you can do a restart. Let's try a reload. Okay. And then you can do a restart. Okay, since we didn't get any messages after those commands, that means they were uh, reloaded and restarted successfully. You can do one of those, or you can do uh, use the systemctl command, and that's just sudo space systemctl space, and then restart space, and then nginx again. Okay, and then you just press enter. Now, with system CTL, I don't think you can do a reload. Let's go ahead and try it and see. I don't think you can. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see here. And then, oh, okay. I guess you can. Well, excellent then. So you can do one of two commands. You can use either the service command or you can use systemctl command. Now, here's the difference between reload and restart, okay? Doesn't matter which one you do, but or which uh, system or service command you use. But here's the difference. If you have a lot of people on your uh, server and you don't want to disrupt them or kick them off unexpectedly, you use the reload command. All right. Or, however, if you're doing the maintenance and you you want to make sure everything reloads cleanly, um, and you don't mind whether or not someone get, gets kicked off while uh, on your server, then use the restart button. That's basically the only difference between the two. One you want to use if you're still in production. The other one, if you're doing the maintenance, then you can use that one which is restart okay so we are done with that and see let's see the next thing on our list okay we need to configure 
our our uh, our website so that they can talk with the web server. I'll show you how to do that. So what we want to do is we want to switch over to uh, the folder known as sites available. Okay. And so what we're going to do is, let's see, let's do a CD and then we're going to do Etsy and then it's going to be Nginx and then from there it's going to be sites available and then press enter. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Right there, we're going to CD into this folder here. Now, ordinarily, the only only uh, file that should be in here is a file named default. All right, ls. Okay, but I have went ahead and I have went ahead and went ahead and put in my file. Okay, so let me show you real quick what happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, this is a quick way of making a file in any folder okay oh I need to have pseudo rights to make that in this folder okay so let's go ahead and clear the screen let's do it ls so ordinarily when you're first configuring everything the only thing that's going to be in sites available is this folder or this file okay nothing else is going to be in here so what you need to do is you need to create your website folder. It's going to be whatever your website is, dot, and then conf. Make sure you put conf at the end of your folder name. That's the extension that you need to put in. So if it was website.com, you could put website.com, but then you're going to need to put dot conf at the end. That way that... Um, because we're going to perform a test and the only way the test is going to be able to read the file is if it has .conf at the end. And then what you do from there what you do from there is everything that's inside of default you want to copy that and put it into your your website.conf folder or .conf file. I apologize. I keep saying folder when I should be saying file cuz these are two files. And then what you do is you just sudo space cp space and then you put in the default file and then you put in your website file dot conf. Okay? Then you want to copy it like that. Okay? And then once you do that, you want to open up your, your website folder, whatever it is, dot conf. And then that's where we're going to make our changes. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So we're going to do a sudo space and then use whatever text editor you are comfortable with. I like to use nano. So I'm going to do nano space my website and then press enter. Okay, so you see you got a whole list of information here. So let's go ahead and scroll down here a little bit and right here where it says server that's the first thing you want to change alright it may have this filled out if it's not what you want to do because this is going to be talking to your web server and your web server is going to be serving its pay your web pages from here you want to put in listen space and then type in 80 semicolon because this web server, which is Nginx, is going to listen off of uh, port 80. Okay. Excuse me. And you want to do it here too. Port 80. Excuse me. Semicolon. Then you want to scroll down again. Oops. And then this right here is your root folder. That's where you're going to be have your website at, and that's where it's going to serve the web pages from. It's going to serve it from var forward slash dub 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 forward slash mywebsite.com, and then always remember put a semicolon at the end. Now, your root your root folder your root 
Yes, your root folder can be wherever you want it to be, but just make sure it matches up with this right here. Okay. And then this next, this next um, uh, section right here, this is where you put in what web, um, what web, what, what what would you call it? What web um, files is going to be served from your uh, from your server? Uh, the first web file, when you go to your home page, is going to be index. And it's usually index.html. All right. And then the next one can be index.htm and then index.php. Okay. You want to make sure, especially if you're using WordPress, that you include index.php. All right and then let's see let's come down here all right then you got your server name and you want to put it in two ways you want to put it in www.mywebsite.com and then this one is going to be the alias for anybody that wants to try and go there nowadays when people go into the um, address box they don't even put the www dot whatever they just put in your website.com so you want to make sure you put in both and again do not forget the semicolon and then let's see that's it that's it that's all you need to put in for that now if you scroll down here to the bottom and you kind of forget what you need to do or what you need to include in this folder there is a little template here it is right here it's going over the same thing that we just went over. All right. It shows you how to fill this out. And usually location is already filled out for you. You don't even have to deal with that. All right. And that's it. And so, so then you just go ahead and save this file. Then you exit out of it. All right. And then once you've done that, the default file you can go ahead and get rid of that or you can copy it all right but for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove it because we don't need that anymore and so all we need is just that one file which is the file that points to and has the configuration for your website so it's come like I said it's just gonna be whatever your website is whatever your website is dot conf okay and then what you're going to do is you can go ahead and get out of that folder okay we're going to go ahead and clear the screen once again we use control L on our keyboard and we can control this we can uh, clear the screen the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a symbolic link let me go ahead and show you where we're going to create a symbolic link between sites available, which is for the file that we just uh, configured, and sites enabled. Okay? And let me show you the command we're going to use for that. Is this command right here? That's the command you want to use. And you, you're going to need sudo write. So it's just sudo space ln, which is for link, space minus s, which means symbolic. And then you want to put in Etsy, Nginx, sites available, and your file name, and then space, and then Etsy, Nginx, sites enabled. And then once you do that, you just press enter. I'm going to control C out of it. But what you would do is press enter and you're done. Right. And then once you once you go, you can go over to sites enabled. And when you do an LS, it's going to change a different color and it's going to put the folder. It's going to put the file in there, too. And that just means that right now it's a symbolic link, all right, between sites enabled and sites available. And if you want to see that yourself, 
you could just do an ls space l and then you press enter and this first bit right here that tells this tells you has been symbolically linked as well as it tells you right here too it's been symbolically linked to sites available all right and then let's see once you're done with that let's see let's go back over our notes then you can run a check right to make sure that everything has been configured correctly you can run a test on nginx and to run that test it's just going to be sudo space nginx and then minus t for test okay and then as you can see the configuration file syntax is okay can rig configuration file uh, yada 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 dot conf test is successful that means that we did it correctly okay all right now we're done with that let's see we did the symbolic link and we ran the test we're almost done okay last thing we want to do on this video is we want to go to our host file which is in Etsy so let's get out of nginx and just go to Etsy so it's just going to be a CD dot dot that's going to go back to the last uh, folder which is Etsy let's go ahead and clear the screen and then now what we want to do is we want to modify the host file okay and so I already did that but let me show you what mine looks like it's just the cat space and then host with an S and then press enter and so all I did was this one right here you really didn't need to do but I did it anyway just to be safe but what you want to do is you want to add in the IP address of your server and you want to put in your website name with that right so it's going to be www dot your website name and the alias which is your website name dot com okay once you do that you just go ahead and save that file and you're done okay now if you wanna if you need to know where your um, the IP address is of your server that's very simple to figure out you just run this command it's gonna be IP space a s oh excuse, excuse me the a is short for address so we can go ahead and type it out address and then this s was for show okay so you can either type in IP space address space show or you can do the shortcut which is what I usually do a space s and then you press enter and then right here for this for this interface this is this is the name of my NIC card and this right here is the internet IP address for my IP and that's where you find the IP address for your uh, web server okay and so that's all we had to do we had to do all those types of configurations and everything so that the web server would know where to serve the files from for our website thank you very much I appreciate your patience um, I hope I explained this clearly enough for you and in our next video we will be go ahead and bring in the um, WordPress website online thank you and you have a good day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye.